Hello viewers and welcome to Bygram YouTube channel and now I will try to make a series of videos about uh, bicycle wheel building. Uh, this first video will be an introductory one and I suggest that you watch the whole introductory video in spite of it being a bit long and tedious and my tires in English, apologies for that, because uh, it will help you uh, use, make better use of all the other videos and it will, I will explain all the basics and uh, the way this will be structured so that you can later more easily skip to the parts that are of interest to you so that you do not waste too much time. And uh, <clears throat> first thing, a sort of a disclaimer, I'm not a professional bicycle mechanic. I love cycling, I love fixing bicycles, I build wheels for people, fix wheels and have a lot of experience with fixing bicycles but uh, I have never received any kind of professional training because none is available in Serbia especially for wheel building and uh, all of my all the, all the confirmation of my knowledge that I could get was when talking to other mechanics both in Serbia and abroad and reading books books are a wonderful thing condensed uh, knowledge of human race and I would, the first thing that I would do is to recommend for wheel building a few wheel building books. Uh, I uh, love uh, learning from books and uh, do it a lot more quickly than watching videos. And the main reason for making this set of videos in the first place is for those people who are more of a visual type and need for things to be shown and expla explained by uh, another monkey and not just written down. So uh, I will now make a small, another thing uh, you will have to excuse for the noise outside because my workshop is in a garage and engine noises and neighbors, you would have to put up with it. And the first thing I want to talk about books, uh, I will include all the needed links in the description of the video. Uh, this is uh, an excellent book. It's called Professional Guide to Wheel Building and it is written by, I don't know how to pronounce, because all these Americans and British have strange names, not normal names like Relia or Nicola, but it has to be like, I don't know how to pronounce this, is it Muson or Masson, it's got two S's and, and, uh, and suppose it's Roger. But anyway, it's a really, really excellent book. And uh, if I wish I had had a book like this when I was first starting to learn about building wheels. So uh, I, I don't have any affiliate sales and I'm in no way related to this author, but uh, this book is a great contribution to mechanics and human knowledge in general. Uh, if you want to learn how to build wheels, you can just now close YouTube and buy this book. If you're capable of reading and learning through books, it's all you need, practically. Everything is nicely structured and explained. And I will probably be using this book as a sort of a guide when doing this review. Sorry, when doing this series of videos. It's not a book review. I will make a book review later. Another book that is very important, and that was the first one, uh, my first uh, real knowledge of uh, bicycle wheel building was using Sheldon Brown's uh, website, which is also a treasure of human knowledge and it should be preserved. And he explained a lot of things very nicely there. And then I read a book about a book called uh, The Bicycle Wheel by, I, again, I don't know how to explain it. I will post links in the video description. It's uh, Jobs the Brand. Uh, I have a lot of respect for whatever, everything that this man did for bicycling, bicycling and bicycle mechanics, even though I can't really pronounce his name. And uh, that book, uh, unlike this one, explains uh, why things are done the way they are. It gives a very nice and detailed, with all the calcula calculations, explanation of all the forces the bicycle wheel takes and why wheel wheels are built the way they are recommended, both in this book and in the bicycle wheel in Brand's book, uh, why it's recommended to do it that way. And for me, it's important to understand when I'm doing something, why I'm doing it. So uh, that book comes highly recommended for those who want to learn why, for those who want to just know how to do it 
the, this book is enough. And it explains everything with all the caveats, all the special cases and all the uh, different types of wheels, rims, spokes and everything. It's, it will be probably more uh, detailed than this video. In this video and in series of videos I'm making, I will try to cover the basics so that you see how it's done, understand the basics and then you will probably be able to use it's twelve dollars I think and it's it's worth it. okay that's enough for the advertising now and uh, now for the for this series of videos uh, I, I had thought about how to structure it so the way I will do it will be first to make a, a video explaining uh, how to choose good quality components what to look out for both when buying new and uh, using second-hand one and then I will explain about uh, various types of lacing and the advantages and disadvantages and limits of various types of lacing like one across, two across, etc. We'll get to that and explain it all nicely. Uh, then I will go to measuring and how to pick uh, the optimal length of spokes and then how to prepare spokes and rim for, for lacing and finally the last video will be uh, the final stages of chewing a bicycle wheel after it has been all the components selected, laced, prepared, laced and then chewing it and bringing it to the optimal tension. I, I will add anything that I uh, think I have missed later in the video description because it's very difficult for me to work and talk at the same time in a language that is not my native and apologies again in case of and I'm trying to speak uh, loudly and clearly and I hope uh, you, you can understand it and you can use it. The, the main reason for doing this in English is because I think it will then in that case help most people in the world. I could talk easily in Serbian but that is a very limited number of people and most especially young people in Serbia can understand Tarzan English better than the, the native one probably so uh, that's it for this introduction and now we will start with the first video in this series about bicycle components and what to look out for.